Hi, my name is Bryce Edelstein Lalbeck. I'm the chair of ICL IEC, JTC1, SC22, WG21, SG15, and SG18. I am a member of said parent committee. I am also an alternative for NVIDIA on the United States National Standards Organization, Insights PL22.16. Today I want to talk to you about forming an Israeli C++ national body, which is a thing that I think you should do. So this is how C++ standardization works. We have a committee, WG21. It iterates on C++ and puts out a working draft. That gets sent up to a parent organization, SC22. And then that gets sent up to this ISO IEC JTC1 for final approval. And then we publish the standard every three years or so. OK, so what is this ISO thing? ISO is the International Standards Organization. It is based in Geneva, Switzerland. It is a non-government organization that's kind of a part of the UN. It's complicated. It's also sort of French. You'll notice if you look at the standards that uh, like the, the front page is in both English and French. I don't know why it's in French. I assume it's just from the French part of Switzerland, and that's why it's in French. Anyways, ISO works with standards committees of individual countries called national bodies to publish standards. So ISO is an international organization, but its constituents are national standards bodies. So ISO JTC1, the Joint Technical Committee 1, is the ISO body that standardizes information technology. That sounds like a very wide area. It is. There is a subcommittee, subcommittee 22, which standardizes programming languages and system software. It's responsible for C, C++, Fortran, Pascal. It used to be responsible for POSIX until they left and a bunch of other languages. There is a working group of that subcommittee called Working Group 21, which standardizes C++. This is commonly known as the C++ Standards Committee, thus the lengthy title at the top. All right, Israeli, Israel's status in ISO. Israel has a national standards body called the Standards Institute of Israel, SII. I'm not sure why the acronym works that way, but. All right, what he said, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. SII is an observing member of ISO IEC JTC1. It's not a member of SC22, although at one point around 1997, it appears that it was a member. There is a document on SC22's uh, registry indicating that Israel expressed an interest in joining SC22. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but it, it was at some point in the past. And it's not a member of WG21, which I think is sad. So here's what you should do. First, you should go and build a coalition of interested companies, universities, and individuals. Then you should contact SII. Probably you also need to talk with somebody in the government. Work with them to obtain participating membership in JTC1. Then you need to form an SC22 national body. So this is the parent body for programming languages. The reason you need to form this is because you can't have a delegation to WG21, the C++ Standards Committee, without having a delegation to SC22. Once you've formed that, national bo that SC22 national body, and you're going to probably have to send somebody to Switzerland once a year for this annual meeting of SC22, uh, then you will be able to form a WG21 national body and you can send delegates to the C++ Standards Committee and do things like vote on whether or not we publish a particular C++ standard. You can definitely do this. I have encouraged two of my friends to form SC22 and WG21 national bodies and they have been successful in doing so. My coworker Michał Dominik is the head of the Polish SC22 delegation which was formed about last year. Hanna, right here, my other good friend, is head of the Czech SC22 delegation. You too can do this. There's probably lots of paperwork involved. You probably have to talk to people in the government and in this standards body that you have, but I think it's worth the effort. The standard is the core of C++. Leadership in C++ requires participation in C++ standardization. Committee membership will give you a loud voice in the future of C++ and influence. There are only 12 national bodies right now, so if you joined, you would have 1 13th of the vote on what things go into the standard and whether we publish standards. So you should definitely look into this. That is my lightning talk. <laughs>